there is a palpable, energetic love for creation in Wynwood. I felt it when I lived down in South Florida, and I have missed it ever since I left almost four years ago. I lived in South Florida from 2008 to 2018. From 2013 to 2018, I was periodically going down to Wynwood for their weekly art walk on the weekends or just go down and walk to see the graffiti that was always being updated with world-class art. In Wynwood, there is a dichotomy, a paradox, seen in a lot of Miami, where one side of the street is starkly different than the other. This paradox is also in the art scene, where you have a mixture of street art done out of passion with no intent of making any money from it other than notoriety. Then you have art that is selling for thousands of dollars, where Art Basel is bringing in billions of dollars for the city of Miami in a matter of days. Then there are the building owners who want to charge top dollar for rent, cutting out many of the smaller artists. The street art being made because someone wanted to make it. Someone wanted to spend their time on this earth to make that piece just so others could enjoy it. Yes, there are some that are commissioned, but that is not the majority of the pieces there. That is what I love most about Wynwood, the omnipresence of passionate art the creative atmosphere that surrounds Wynwood. Second Ave, in particular, is the palpable love for creation, for appreciating beauty. I wish people could die once in their life so they could put into perspective what is truly important. It's beauty. It's experiencing this dimension of the universe for what it's worth and nothing more. It's exploring. It's being constantly bewildered. That is what Web3 is to me. It's this bewilderment 
towards an idea that I haven't felt since I was a child in grade school. I implore others to look at how fast children are able to learn in such short amounts of time. Time, too, is relative. As Web3 knows no bounds, it is constant, a rapidly evolving, artificially intelligent being that is growing more responsive to changes by the day. Web3 is why I came to Miami on this trip. The topic of the next blog post. Be sure to subscribe to the newsletter at bleast.com and let's go further together. Going further, today, live without limits. Days do not exist, just wake and be.